Hey, what's up guys? Min City here back again with another video and today we are taking a look at Lifeline. Now, what is Lifeline? Lifeline is a choose your own adventure style game available on the App Store. The link to the game is in the description down below for iOS as well as Android if it's available for Android. Don't forget to leave a like and pop a sub if this helps you out in any way and let's get right into it. Disclaimer. Being that this is a choose your own adventure style game, there is only dialogue and choices to be had when it comes to showing gameplay, so just know that there will be spoilers, especially for the start of the game. I made sure that it's early gameplay, but it will still spoil some things. So only listen to this if you guys think you will buy the game. The good stuff. Lifeline's premise is that there's an astronaut named Taylor, and their spaceship has crash landed on a planet. And Taylor has been trying to contact people, and the only person they've been able to contact is you through your cell phone. And so Taylor is asking you how to survive on this planet and what to do and for your help and just for someone to talk to. And so whenever they're asking for your help or whenever Taylor is wondering what to do, you are presented with two separate choices. And these choices can range from very impactful choices where Taylor's life hangs in the balance or other choices where it's just dialogue options and getting to know Taylor more. What's interesting about these choices is in certain instances, whatever you tell Taylor, you think she, she or he, you never find out if it's a she or he, should do, then those choices take time and that takes real time. So whenever you say, hey Taylor, I think you should travel to this location, then Taylor will say, okay, I'll definitely check it out and update you when I get there. And then it'll say, Taylor is busy. And then you won't get a response from Taylor until it has happened in real time. And then you will get a notification on your Apple Watch or your iPhone or your iPad or whatever you're playing this on. And it makes it feel so real. It makes it feel a lot more immersive than most games or books in the choose your own adventure genre, which is super, super cool. Now, Taylor is also very likable. This game would totally fail if Taylor was an unlikable character or just felt bland or didn't have a lot of personality. But Taylor's humorous, they have a lot of personality and they feel very real. Uh, this whole thing is very well written, which is good because like I've said before, this is all text-based. So those are the good things of Lifeline. The bad stuff. I could see people really hating the real-time mechanic of having to wait for Taylor to respond and do things within the game, but it really added to my immersion, but I could see that being an annoyance for other people and just wanting to experience the game all the way through. But also, I think it helped me savor the game in chunks and made it more immersive. So to each their own. Another thing is that some of the choices are fluff, but I think it really adds to forming your bond with Taylor too. So that's a give and take as well. It depends on who you are. I think these bad things are pretty subjective. All in all, if you guys really like choose your own adventure style games or books, or if you were a fan of the books when you were kids, this is a no brainer. This is a really cool modern take on the choose your own adventure style of book. And it's really well written and I love the real time mechanic and it's a great game to just savor for bite sized pieces and it feels like an epic adventure. And there's more Lifeline games in this series, which is really interesting. I've only played the first one through all the way to the end, but there's more games to have if you enjoy this one. All right, those were my first impressions of Lifeline. Don't forget to leave a like and pop a sub if you guys are new or you enjoy mobile gaming content because that's all I make on this YouTube channel. Feel free to check out the stream link in the description down below. I stream every Monday at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and it's really fun. We have a really cool community. We usually have 10 to 15 people at one time during each stream and it's a lot of fun. I'd really like to chat with you guys in real time. It'd be cool to get to know you guys better. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy.